Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allie and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new here, I upload three videos, four videos a week, a beauty bible and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So for today, I have for you guys a clean with me video, which I'm super excited. I haven't done one in such a long time. So anyways, on this day, I decided to start in the living room instead of, and work my way to the back of the house instead of opposite way. So yeah, just for whatever reason, the living room was super cluttered. And then I just decided to go ahead and dust and do my usual vacuum routine and just tidy up the living room, which never needs much, honestly. So once I am done with the living room, obviously we're going to go ahead and move on to the kitchen. And I usually start by cleaning the kitchen by just restocking everything and getting everything in its place. When you see me digging through the trash, I was looking for a lid. So anyways, yeah, I always start the kitchen by getting things in their place and also just by restocking the fridge, um, filling up the cereal containers for the week and things like that. So once we have everything in its place, then it's time to unload the dishwasher and just get the dishwasher ready to put the next load of dishes in there. And you guys, I only use the dishwasher for drying the dishes just so that way I can keep my countertops as clear as possible. As you guys see, we have a waffle maker up there, a crock pot, a blender, and I just like to keep things the least amount of clutter that I can and then this is actually where I like I said I like to get everything in its place and then I move on to stocking the fridge so just you know water Brian's energy drinks and well the more like BCAAs and stuff are not really energy drinks and then we go ahead and put his protein shakes in there his meal replacement protein shakes and then I am just going to go ahead and clean up the fridge and clean it out and just organize it more So once the fridge is ready and good to go, then we move on to my least favorite never ending chore, which is dishes. I feel like chores and laundry is, are just one of those things where the chore is never actually done, but you still feel accomplished when you do it. So yeah, just cleaning up the dishes. I do use Mrs. Meyers hand soap. I learned with Mrs. Meyers that if you have the water hot enough, it can degrease, degrease pretty well. So I don't mind it. I love it. The lavender one, I had never used it, and I really love the scent. I actually love lavender. It's a scent that I used to hate, but the older I get, the more I like it. So yeah, if you haven't tried Mrs. Meyers soaps, my one recommendation or tip is to make sure that you have the water hot enough to where it's a really good degreaser as well.
So after dishes, I do go ahead and go in and start wiping down the counters. And after the counters, that's when I do the floors. Like Brian likes to try to clean the floors before he cleans the counters. And I'm just like, no, it makes no sense. Because when you wipe off the counter, you might wipe stuff onto the floor that you have to clean up off the floor. Let me know, do you clean your floors before or after you clean the counters? Let me know. kitchen the next room on our list is the guest room and you guys this was the week after it had snowed so this was like the weekend once it was clearing up and it was starting to warm back up and you guys like why in the world was every single jacket that we own out and then the green the orange blanket on the floor is supposed to be in the living room so why is it in here so yeah the, this room was a disaster the only thing is that it didn't need to be vacuumed because I had just vacuumed it the day before but yeah just getting everything in its place and then just straightening up the bed. It was pretty much all that the guest room needed was to get things back into their place. Next room on the list is the boys room and their room, Ethan was actually gone with his dad this weekend that I did this Saturday clean with me. And when he's kind of gone, the other two kind of tone it down so their room's not a disaster. But for the most part, as you guys know, the boys do clean their own room, whereas in they make sure they pick up all their laundry and their toys and keep it free of trash. And all I do is go in there and fix beds and vacuum. And so yeah, that's all the boys room ever requires. So moving on to our room is another room that is so many things were just out of place. I had my studio lights out, I had my filming table out, and honestly my filming lights are still out, but I did put the table up just to let it look a little less color cluttered. But yeah, more of getting things in their place and vacuuming, that's all I did in my bedroom. If you guys ever wonder why I don't clean the bathrooms when I film, is because I clean them throughout the week randomly, especially the boys' bathroom, and I clean mine in Brian's bathroom once a month, but I clean the boys' bathroom once a week because they are little and he goes everywhere. So yeah, but other than that, you guys, this is it for today's video. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that, oh, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if you like seeing these videos or have any other video suggestions, please go ahead and comment those down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah!